Okay, it's Friday. We haven't done an EMOM yet for the week. This is our EMOM today. Today's EMOM is 21 minutes. So we need to put 21 minutes on the clock. And we are going to work our way through three movements for seven rounds. We have no program rest minute in today's workout. Um, it is a question of steady work. Your rest will come in between our actual program number of reps in each of those minutes. So how that will flow, minute one will be 20 glute bridges, minute two will be alternating leg V-ups, minute three will be alternating box step-ups. That's what you're gonna do for 21 minutes, okay? So that's gonna be seven rounds of that work. So it probably isn't gonna feel too bad at the start. Round five or round six, it'll probably start to pile up a little bit more. So let's see how that one flows. Our glute bridges, right? We're laying flat on the ground, right? We're, we've got our feet away from our backside. We are just lifting our glutes off the ground for 20 reps, okay? So when we get, when we're doing this, I actually want like a one to two second pause at the top of every rep, okay? There is no benefit to just doing this for banging them out and standing around for 40 seconds, okay? Let's really focus on squeezing those glutes and building that posterior chain up. This is a great movement for that, okay? So that would be, I would like that to take you about 40 seconds to do those 20 reps. So that should tell you how fast you need to go, okay? 40, 45 seconds, okay? After that, we're just gonna stay on the ground and we're gonna work our way through 20 alternating leg V-ups. So we're here, we're reaching long, and we're snapping that leg as straight as we can, break for 20 reps. Again, rather than just kind of give quick hackers, punch your way through 20 the best you can. Now as well, we do have that option to bend our knee if we need to, but again, drive that core, that, that core, or the small of your back into the ground. And when we're doing these as well, also think about pointing those toes because that automatically tightens up that core and puts us in a stronger position. And learning to point toes and hold control of that pays huge dividends as we work on some gymnastics movements. Or if you come into the gym and we start working on some other gymnastic movements in a class at the gym. After we're done those 20 alternating V-ups, it becomes 20 alternating box step-ups. So we're here. Right, standing up, open hips at the top. We do not stay bent over, okay? Never stay bent over when we're doing those. We wanna stand up, pop those hips, almost think about pushing those hips open. That way we know we're getting full extension uh, in those hip flexors. A lot of times we get knee pain and things like that. We're staying bent over, we're not getting full range of motion or full access to that strength that are in those hips. So. Work your way through 20 proper reps, okay? Once you've done that, you're gonna repeat all that work for seven rounds. So like I said, it's gonna feel pretty easy the first two or three rounds. It'll pile up the last couple. That's how it's gonna feel. It's gonna be just kind of one of those slow building workouts for the day. Great one to get the kids in because it's good steady movement, okay? Um, score today, sweaty selfie at the end. Sweaty selfie, tell me where your challenge was. That is your score for the day. Push your pace. If you've never submitted a sweaty selfie, today's your day. 